Hi, I'm Josh Hayhurst, and this is Super Dojo. I am so excited to teach you something brand new today. Before we get into the brand new thing, I want to make sure that you know exactly what we're talking about when we talk about those Super Dojo basic blocks. In the last video, I covered all of that stuff, so check that video in the description first. But if you already know that stuff, let's get right into it. I'm going to show you how to defeat someone who is much bigger than you. Let's get started. Okay, pause. I want you to know that there's way more to self-defense than what's in this video. This is just a simple tutorial all about the self-defense scenario that we're working on right now. But there's so many details and tidbits that I left out because that should be in a completely separate video all about kids' self-defense concepts. So in the link in the description, you can click on it and check out that video all by itself. First of all, you can use all of those blocks to defend yourself and to keep someone from grabbing you in the first place. That is level one. So you'd have a training partner try to reach out and grab you and you're gonna use your high blocks, outer forearm blocks, and inner forearm blocks to keep them away. Okay, before you get to level two, I want you to actually practice those blocks with your favorite training partner. So go ahead and pause the video and I'm just gonna sit here with a really funny face while you wait. Okay, pause it. Okay, now it's time to get to level two. Level two is when you tried to block those, those uh, attackers trying to grab you, but somehow they grabbed your shirt and they got a hold of you. This next part is what to do if someone actually grabs you. Check out this clip of me teaching it to a class of Super Dojo athletes. You're going to love it. Okay, All right, here it comes. Uh oh, what do you do? You got my arm. You're holding it tight. Stomp. Shin, shin, ow, knee. No, you gotta put it down every time. Now knee, whack. Now between the legs, pull, oh. Nice job, slam dunk. Give Logan two claps. Sometimes a really good stomp or front kick is a perfect way to get someone off of you that grabbed you. Now think about it. This person that grabbed you is just someone you don't know that made you feel uncomfortable. And a good stomp and a good hit is a great way to keep them away. Now I want you to spend some time practicing those moves with your favorite training partner. So I know you got to go away, pause the video, wait a couple minutes, practice it a little bit, and I'll be waiting right here with a sad face. Okay, now you're back. I hope you practiced that self-defense move really well with your favorite training partner. Before we get to level three, you have to understand that sometimes someone who's really tall can keep you away. And even if you try to kick them, you just can't reach. That's when we do a move called robot off, where you lay down on the ground and use those hits. When you lay down on the ground, it actually brings that person closer to you, even though they're so big. Check out this video clip of me teaching it to a big class of Super Dojo athletes who are trying to learn this same exact self-defense scenario. And you try to do those kicks, but what happens? He's too far away. So he lays down and he starts doing those kicks. Because look how I come down like this. It becomes very awkward. Keep kicking. Give me good kicks, man. Come on. Oh, okay. Now get up. Run. Yes, and run. Give me 10. Hey, good job. Good practice. Just like in the video, if the person is much bigger than you, you can go ahead and use that robot off technique to get a couple hits. And if they let go because you nailed them with one of those kicks, then you can get away. But if it doesn't work, we'll have to go to level three. Before we go to level three, I want you to practice with your favorite training partner. Practice that whole thing, whether you're blocking, they grab you, you do the hits, and maybe even robot off if it doesn't work, and I will wait. Please pause that video, and when you come back, I'll be ready for more. I'm just going to stand here with my thumbs up. There you go, some awesome robot off techniques. Way to go. Now it's time to get to level three. Now with the robot off technique or maybe even part two, level two or level one, this person that tried to grab you might also try to pick you up. And when they pick you up, you're no longer able to hit them in the legs anymore with your kicks because they lifted you up this high. Now you're going to have to make a good decision on this one, okay? Since they lifted you up, the legs 
target is gone. You're gonna have to aim a little bit higher. And the four target areas are nose, throat, ear, and neck. Watch this next video clip of me teaching a whole class of Super Dojo athletes how to take care of the next part. So I'm gonna pick him up. Can I pick you up? Yes. All right, cool. I'm gonna pick you up. I got him. Now I'm holding him. And he's gonna use his strong arm to hit me in the thumb. Nose, go ahead. Can you do an elbow? Oh, that's got her. And he's gonna hit me in the me, 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 me. Now use your hand to do it. Not the chin. The part where I sing from. Then he gets me in the ear. Yeah. Ow. Oh. And then under my ear is my neck, so you give me the neck. Ow. And then I just drop him. Okay, now you know the entire thing. So you should definitely practice the entire thing with your favorite training partner as soon as this video is over. I know you can do it. Practice it a million times and get super good at it. Now remember, when you're practicing with your training partner, that person is pretending to be a bad guy. Your mom or dad, your older brother and sister, they're not a real bad guy, so don't hit them super hard. Your martial arts techniques should be used to protect yourself and for fun stuff, not to hit someone because you think it's funny. We got you. Now what do you do? Grab and try to kick. Ow, it worked. I let you go. Okay, let's pretend it didn't work. You try to kick me, and you're not not uh, long and tall enough. Go ahead. So what do you do? Doesn't work. You gotta lay down. You gotta kick me. Nope. Not gonna let you kick me. I grabbed your leg. Maybe I grabbed both legs. You can't kick me now. So what do I have to do? No, you can't. You can't. I'll pick you up like a fish. So I have to pick you up, right? So I'm gonna pick you up, okay? All right. So I pick you up. I got him. I picked him up. I'm holding him like a little baby. Zach has to hit me in the spots up high. So you can use your hand right here and smack me right in the nose. Not there, in the nose. Be nice. Boom. Or you hit me in the ear. See what you're over here? Boom. Look what happens when you smack me in the ear. Try again. Boom. You gotta be careful. And then if you hit me right here, right here. Or you chop me right here. And then I drop ya. And you get up fast and get out of here. <laughs> After you've got this self-defense scenario nailed down, it's time to get to the next video. The next video is when we test our power. Now, the next video is gonna be super cool. So before you get to it, be prepared. And when you are, I'll see you on the next one.